welcome back to the weekend vlog this weekend we have a little friend this is my son Nathaniel he's a little fussy right now oh. <laughs> so I just got back from getting my hair cut at the salon and it was actually my very first time um, leaving Nate and his week and a half of life and it was kind of sad but I got some not much needed um, relaxing time. The salon that I go to actually does um, essential oil massage on your neck and it was really relaxing and I feel really good having my hair done. Um, it was very much needed mommy time. And he lost his pacifier. Here. Here babe. Oh better. So right now I'm just trying to eat something before it's his turn to eat and I'm just eating this leftover stir fry from last night's dinner and Alex just hopped in the shower and then tonight we have some friends coming over uh, tomorrow we have my parents coming over and then Sunday my brother so it's going to be a full weekend of visitors and I'm excited for everyone to come spend some time with us and we will see what all we get on video. Don't forget I have to trade the haunter to you. <laughs> Way to ruin it, life, huh? <laughs> You can restart. No, yeah, that's fine. Just give people a warning. Make a pleasant face. <laughs> Is that a, a gas station? Pretty awesome. It's Friday evening. I think it's about five, four or five o'clock right now. I don't remember, honestly. I think it's four. Um, I we have had just like the craziest day. <sighs> so boy, do I have an update for you guys. So it all started about. Um, I think it was on Tuesday. We had an apartment inspection. Um, they just wanted to come in and check and make sure, like, we're basically not, like, running the place down, I guess. Um, not just, like, making it a giant mess and being gross or whatever. So, they came in, checked, um, you know, they didn't really have any complaints. They just said, like, thank you, and they were on their way. So, at the end of the day, we had this letter in our door that, um, basically told us that, we were in violation of our lease because we have a rabbit. Um, now, when we first moved in almost three years ago, the apartment was under different management and we were told that it was completely fine. They didn't even consider a rabbit a pet. Um, and I guess that, you know, we didn't ever really think anything more of that once the apartment went under new management, which, They've actually, I think we've had a different manager like at least four or five times since, since almost three years now. Like they, it changes really often. Um, and none of them are ever very good, honestly. So, uh, so we didn't really think anything of it when the, um, management changed over and we had, you know, we never really said anything about having a rabbit, but, um, we didn't we certainly didn't hide it like the maintenance came in all the time and there we certainly weren't hiding it sure i mean her playpen is literally in the living room 
so it's not like we were just like trying to keep her a secret or something um we didn't think that we were in the wrong by any means and i still don't think that we are um we've honestly dealt with quite a bit of crap from this apartment um just issues with the management in general um like actually three times our apartment has been flooded by the apartment upstairs and we've been like perfectly reasonable um we have been very very patient with management and um i mean one of the times was literally in the middle of the night and the fire department had to come out tw two of the times um so i mean we've been overwhelmingly patient and so i just always considered like oh yeah we're really good tenants like why would the apartment want to screw us over right so anyways we get this notice in the mail that said or not in the mail in our door that said um yeah you're in direct violation of your lease and you need to get rid of your rabbit or you have 30 days until you need to move basically like you'd be evicted if you don't get rid of the rabbit <sighs> So they were still doing inspections for like the next um, several days. And then this morning, Friday, Alex went and talked, um, Alex is my husband. Alex went and talked to the apartment manager and was just trying to reason with her like, hey, we've had this pet the whole entire time. We've lived here and she's never caused an issue before. Um, our property is still, like, the property is still in perfectly good condition. She's never, like, ruined anything or done anything to make it so that we shouldn't have her. And we haven't been hiding it. And, like, just, she, he was basically just trying to be reasonable. Like, we'll even, like, pay a cat fee or whatever just for, like, that, um, little bit of, like, extra money just in case she does ruin something. But she wouldn't. Um so we were being like very reasonable I think and the manager just said like you know I'm sorry that sucks I know you guys just had a newborn but um I just have to be the bad guy here and say like those other people weren't doing their job because you have never been allowed a rabbit so we've spent today looking for other apartments or we kind of are entertaining the idea of maybe purchasing um, a house or a condo. We're very back and forth about it. We're not quite sure um, financially what we can do just yet. Um, we're looking at all the options, but there aren't very many, honestly, um, that we can do. So, especially because we literally just had Nathaniel a little over two weeks ago. And we have all of these medical bills coming in now from the hospital, which we actually have really decent insurance. It's just that um, it, it is just a lot. It is what it is. So we are put in a really financially hard spot right now. And um, it's just been an incredibly stressful day. Um, yeah, so I thought I would update you all with that because... It's a really long story to have to put on social media or something. So that's kind of what um, all has been happening today. And then right now I'm just hanging out with this little guy. He's taking a little nap. It's actually almost time to wake him up and let him eat. Um, yeah, so that's what. Well, that's just everything that's been going on today. And then I'll probably just keep searching for other apartments or houses or whatever. Um, condos maybe. Um, and then tomorrow, Saturday, is my brother Michael, his girl going away party. Um, if you missed my, one of my, uh, recent vlogs, we were talking about how, um, he enlisted in the Navy and this weekend's his going away party and he leaves for boot camp, um, at the end of this weekend. So we're gonna have a good time with him and, wish him farewell and it's gonna be emotional but fun and mostly emotional though because I'm crazy emotional right now um yeah and then on Sunday Alex has to work in the morning uh which kind of stinks because we this is his first week back to work 
ever since having Nathaniel, so it's kind of, it kind of stinks that his first week back, he also has to work Sunday, but he just works in the morning, and then after that, we're gonna go check out the condo, and I think we're gonna rent a movie and maybe come home and just try and relax a little bit, so, um, yeah, so I'll be vlogging this weekend, and I'm excited to show you guys what all we do, especially the party tomorrow, I'm really glad that I'll get to kind of save those memories because I'm sure I'll want to look back on it for the next couple of weeks until Michael is out of basic and I can see him again. So yeah, come along with us. This little guy is finally asleep. Oh, as soon as I said that he opened his eyes. Making dinner was a bit of a whole battle. Um, it's really hard. I'm still trying to figure out how to manage the time that I need to do things while he also still needs me. It's not very safe to be cooking while holding a newborn, so I, I can't hold him. And I try to set him down, and he cries, and I try to put him to sleep first, and he wakes up, and he's just, um, he's just so little that he needs me, like, 24-7, and it's nearly impossible <laughs> to find free time to do anything, so now I'm getting very anxious about the idea of having to pack the whole entire apartment for moving, and sure how I'm gonna do it anyway for dinner I made um, stir-fry which is just chickpeas and broccoli with teriyaki sauce over rice with spring rolls and I would show you guys well I will show you I'll show you but I already ate like most of it so uh, yeah Ta -da! probably super unimpressive now but it, it did look good earlier I promise Good morning everyone, it's Saturday morning right now and we're just getting ready um, to head up to where my family lives and we're going to do a little um, family portrait session. I'm actually taking the pictures, I'm just using a tripod. Um, and then uh, after that we're going to Michael's party and right now I'm just hanging out with Nate and drinking some coffee or attempting to drink coffee, and here's Alex. <laughs> yeah, so we're pretty excited for the pictures and the party, and it looks like Nate's finally falling asleep. First change in the car. Oh, it's, <laughs> oh that face! It's gonna be fun, I, I, I promise. <laughs> You're gonna love it. He already hates it. <laughs> I already hate it. Yeah, you started yet. I love wood. I gotta figure that out. I don't know. This is going on the weekend vlog. <laughs> That was close, Mom. Mom and Daddy put the roots right here. This is where the car broke down. He loves doing that. Dude, that's gonna be in the vlog. That's going on yeah. the weekend vlog. Oh, oh my god, but I'm not gonna get those yeah. views for ages. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on the vlog. It's true. 
Good to see you on the vlog. I'm gonna forget about it. Are you gonna give me a view and a thumbs up? No. No. Okay. I'm gonna crop you out. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> What'd you get? Famous vlog. Another cookie. I've done so many of those. They're so good. I didn't even know she had a vlog. I'm on there now. Get, I'm on there. Get on there. Go, go. Like, on the other you still filming? Huh? You might have been on one of the first Yeah, films. you really? so were. That's the same time when I told you you could deliver yep. the baby. Oh. <laughs> and I didn't get to deliver it. No. But well, you're an uncle, so that's good enough. Uh, I'm an uncle. Oh. Uncle Todd. What is, now, what were we going to say? Like, great uncle or something? No, he's an uncle. See the John right there? I'm just playing that. He's an uncle. Oh, okay. I'm just playing it. Man. You know, like, they are right. We are like, 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 five by five. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do it. Wow, we're going to do it. Ooh, those faces. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay, everyone, so I'm just sitting down to edit this video right now. Um, I realized that I didn't really update past uh, Sunday morning. Right now it's Monday morning. and uh, Well, actually, it's Monday afternoon, and Alex just left for work. Um, so yesterday we just uh, went and looked at a condo, or actually three or two of them. Um, we weren't overly impressed with them, but uh, they like the first one we looked at would kind of be a fixer upper so we're not sure we're still kind of deciding and waiting to hear about financing options but um we scheduled two more apartment tours for later this week and so um hopefully by next weekend hopefully by the next weekend vlog we'll know what we're doing um we'll have a more accurate idea of what we're doing that way we can just get on the ball with um packing and just get that all situated and figured out um so uh oh oh better so um yeah and then we came home and we made some dinner and then watched a quiet place which is the movie that um john krasinski wrote i believe and directed and produced i'm pretty sure um i might be wrong but so we watched that movie and it was really good and it was really suspenseful and um, it was like real life scary. Like it wasn't like horror movie scary like usual um, scary movies. So I definitely recommend that movie. It was really good. Um, yeah, so that's basically all we did yesterday and then so I just wanted to let you all know uh, what we did even though I didn't film it. So, yeah, I will see you guys next weekend in the next weekend vlog, and if I get any videos out before that, it could be a recipe video, but life is kind of crazy right now, having a newborn, it's hard to find time to film. Um, also, I've just been making food mostly when it's... Okay, Alex just called me and it cut off the video. So, I was saying that um, I've been mostly just making food at night time, so... I've mostly just been making food at night time, so um, it's kind of hard to film in the complete dark. There's no light to make my food look good. So um, just bear with me. I'm trying to get that all figured out, and I'm sure that I'll get the hang of it, but you know, baby's only not even three weeks yet. Uh, three weeks tomorrow. So yeah, we're working on it. And we'll get back to the regular regular schedule eventually. Um, and I thank you all for being patient. And hello to my new subscribers as well. Um, I'd love for you to leave a comment below letting me know a little bit about yourself. That would be really awesome. I love getting to know you all. So yeah, I'll see you all next weekend on the weekend vlog. And I hope you had a good weekend. And thanks for watching. Bye.